All right, well, we have six more weeks of winter or an early spring. Well, today, yeah, it's Groundhog Day. In Pennsylvania, handlers of Punxsutawney Phil are planning to reveal whether he saw his shadow. And here in central Iowa, yeah, you all know, Polk County Pola will have, uh, we'll be making her own prediction to Local 5's Larissa Millis live this morning at the High Life Lounge in downtown Des Moines. Larissa experiencing uh, Polk County Paula for the first time. Yeah, so obviously later this morning, Polk County Paula is going to be making her own prediction. But leading up to that is the big event, the free beer. And as you can see behind me and aside and on the side of here, we've had people filtering into the building for the last 10 minutes or so. We're just at the tail end of the line right here, as you can see. Uh, people heading into the building to get their free beer. I imagine uh, we are in there earlier. I imagine it's pretty packed in there right now. Um, it's not a huge space, but all these people are super, super excited to be there. So I imagine that they're having a good time in there. I don't you can I don't know if you can hear some of the sounds. People are cheering. We talked to um, a man who was at the very front of the line. Him and his friends have been coming here for the last 15 years, always trying to be first in line. They were out here before we even got out here earlier this morning at about 445. So this is an event that, you know, people, I guess, take very, very seriously. It's been very impressive to see. Some people have come out with costumes, groundhogs on little hats. So definitely a lot of spirit. I think it helps that it's Friday and, you know, relatively warm for people to be out here. Starting the weekend year, so already. Definitely lots of fun. Yeah, I, I wonder if these people uh, work or not. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. I'm like, <laughs> does anybody have a job to go to? Uh, <laughs> so, Larissa, your first time being out there, are you surprised at the enthusiasm and the commitment to get in that line first? I mean, you were researching this like crazy yesterday. So <laughs> what you thinking? Uh, I, I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm surprised. I think if there's anything about the Midwest, the Midwesterners, we can be very passionate about a lot of things, including beer. So I wouldn't say it's that much of a, of a surprise. I think, of course, it helps that it's Friday and, you know, it's a fun event people want to be out here for. Yeah, it wouldn't be uh, Iowa if uh, there's no bush life. <laughs> All right. Uh, thanks, Larissa. We'll check back in with you in a little bit here. Coming up.